Centuries have passed. But our order has remained steadfast in its sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half-breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Today, that balance is threatened with grave upset by a new contagion, the Rebellion. As long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue, the plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. <laughs> I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebels' influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel, but the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the Council. Very well. What says the order of Her Majesty's royal knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay! nay. The nays have it. This council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. What do you make of this? Percival seems intent on pursuing his investigation. The order cannot stand idly by while hard.
Come, come on. Get up. Up you get. Get up. Time for your morning bath, my lord. Well, this rate, I don't think he's gonna last much longer. <laughs> Come on now. Just a few more steps. Not so hard, was it? Here we go again. You about ready? These things take time. Put him back here. Why, you little shit!
Up. All right, mates. Not a word. Inside. Close them. Let's just talk this through, shall we? You're him, aren't you? The convict everyone's talking about. There's only one way out of here. Walking dead, that's what you are. Gonna wish you never left those catacombs. Such a mouth. Fair enough. Fair enough, it's your funeral, not mine. Yourself up, Monsieur. My next shot will not be a warning. Surrender yourself! Raise your hands now! Raise your hands! Hands up! Gray! Don't do this! I said surrender! Hands on your head! You have betrayed our order! No one may escape the penalty! You forget, Lord Chancellor. I'm as good as dead already. Galahad!
Galahad, come in. Galahad, acknowledge this is command. I read you, Percival. Enjoying a stroll in the park, are we? Nothing quite like a chilly London morning to stimulate the senses. Not to interrupt your little constitutional, but we have confirmation of multiple marks at Grosvenor Square. What are our directives? Rendezvous at the United India House with Igraine and Lafayette and contain the threat. Do you have it in sight? Right in front of me. Good. Assess the situation once there and proceed with caution. Did Nicola provide you with armament? Yes. Essex M2 Falchion. Good. The Falchion's secondary ordnance should help. Rebel down! We need to keep moving and get off the streets. Understood, Marquis. Most excited. 
exciting. Monsieur, grenadier. We need to keep moving and get off the streets. A little help with the wagon, monsieur? Percival, Percival, do you read me? Save your breath, monsieur. The buildings are blocking the signal. The curse of progress. Am you monocular? I can see our target. The hospital is two miles west. Do you see our comrades? Not yet. There. It must be them. Shall we join the soirée? Let's invite a few friends, shall we? Air Command, this is Galahad. I need response from anyone in the vicinity of Whitechapel. Air Command, this is Galahad. Thank you, monsieur. You copy. We are without sanction here. The Lord Chancellor will be most displeased. Lafayette does not fancy a court martial. We'll worry about that later. Mr. Galahad, this is Sentinel-5. We are three leagues northeast of Whitechapel. Please state directives. Sentinel-5, this is Galahad. We require air support on standby. Acknowledge, Sir Galahad. We are signaling blue-red at a one-second interval. We request your visual confirmation for heading change.
Monsieur, we must indicate our position. Sentinel-5 is waiting for our signal. Sagala! Sagala! Sagala, this is Sentinel-5. We have visual confirmation of your position. Heading change to 224 degrees. Assuming holding pattern above Whitechapel in eight minutes. Acknowledge Sentinel-5. Await further orders at location. Let's go. Smell of pestilence. I like the crates! We're running out of time. I'm going as quickly as I can. Guard down!
Thought to see you again, daughter. How did you find us? There's no time. The company's forces are gathering at the shipyard. We must flee. Knight, did not tempt fate. Our work here is done. <sighs> this horror must be made known to the Council. Tread carefully, Knight. The company could not succeed without powerful friends in the government. You saw on the docks how your own ranks have been infiltrated. If it is as you say, then surely I would The have war has turned against the half-breeds. They are now using the United India Company to spread terror throughout the world. You must help us. I'm a knight, sworn to protect the realm, not bring it crashing down. Then you must trust no one. Fare you well, knight. But only we could have met on different circumstances. Where shall I find you? Whisper my name in Whitechapel, and I will be there. Gray, what in the world is going on? Not now, is he? Don't walk away from me. I saw you at Whitechapel. You followed me? I was worried about you. You fled like a madman after the battle on the bridge. You know nothing. Less than nothing. Is this some kind of clandestine infiltration? Is that what you're up to? This isn't the time. Grey, what's happened to you? No. Oh. Ever since Mallory was killed, I look at you and... What? What do you see? I don't know. A stranger. Someone I'm not sure I can trust anymore. Whatever it is. For God's sake, tell me. Not this time, is he? And you do well to stay clear of me. For your own good. You! Find General Lafayette and summon him to the library. Conspiracy runs to the very heart of the Council. This allegation is monstrous! I refuse to believe it. If the Lord Chancellor will permit me, I can I will not permit! And you will say nothing more of these ridiculous suspicions. All the years I've known your father, never have I seen him so obstinate. Your allegations strike at the very heart of the Empire. I fear he cannot sustain another blow as great as the loss of Mallory. All he need do is journey to Blackwall Yard. For what evidence? The destruction was total. A clear case of arson, according to Commissioner Doyle. Apparently, a small group of rebels was seen on the docks. It was all rather... What is the word the Commissioner is so fond of? Oh yes, elementary. Now what do you think? I have no opinion. Should you wish, I can attempt to persuade the Lord Chancellor to put the matter before the Council. If it is true that we have a traitor in our midst, word well, is bound to get back to the conspirators. What do you propose? Breach the walls of the United India House under cover of night. 
Any information that will shed light on the events of the last few days must surely be found there. Trespass on the company's headquarters. You are cut from the same cloth as Mallory. Drastic circumstances call for drastic measures. Oh. I would have your assistance, Alistair. I hardly think it proper for the Knight Commander to be you seen... You know the lay of the land. I will need your guidance to navigate the grounds of the United India House. If a conspiracy is to be revealed, your testimony will carry weight with your father. Very well. But the two of us alone will not suffice to infiltrate the compound. If what you say is true, there are precious few we can trust. My sister, Lafayette. I cannot involve them until I have more evidence. Then who? I might know just the person who can help us. I thank you, brother. We're approaching the United India House. I assume we're not planning to enter through the front door. Not to worry. I've made preparations for our incursion. Gaining access to the compound proved to be a little more difficult than planned. We're here. Back entrance to the compound. You could say that. Everything in place? As discussed, ordinances on the table, rooftop accesses to the bedroom. You've done well, Francis. At your service, sir. Francis served in the Commonwealth forces. Crossbow. Brings back memories. Ancient ones of that. I thought it best we stay silent on this mission. Let's get going. Compound is patrolled all through the night. Guards man all entrances. What's the incursion point? The gardens. Should provide us enough cover to move in unnoticed. Follow me. Should head to the rooftops.
Hey, intruder! Next, clear the west wing. I'll move through the east. It would be wise to set the communicator from here on. Good point. Yeah. Let's rendezvous inside. Intruder!
My gallant knight. It seems I came just in time. I suppose so. Though it would not be in my nature to let a god get the better of me. Did you come alone? Devi and Finley are with me. They're taking care of the rest of the guards and you. I could not risk involving my squad, but there is one more with me. And you trust this person? Yes. With my life. Very well. What now? We will meet him inside and proceed to the archives room. Let's go. As you can see, we face some resistance. They're over here. Rani, we found a way in. Once in place, we can use the stagecoach to climb the balcony. Knight, help us push this into place. I need you to stay. Rani, I need to be by your side. You always are, child. What of him and his accomplice? Heed my advice. Do you not know how dear you are to me? Then why do you push me away? Because I need you to continue the cause if something happened to me. Do not say that. Debbie, though you may not trust me, know that I will protect your queen in your stead. I know I knew that much. See that you do. You do not want to get on the bad side of that one. Company man down!
Let's get inside before more guards arrive. Look out! Shotgun specialists! from the back. Keep the head stuck. Shotgun specialist down. Target down. Look out! Shotgun specialists! Watch yourself, lad. Keep them busy while I get into range. Hi. Boss, more are coming in from the back. Watch your fire. 